I know it may not look like a lot from this perspective, but this is the most impressive bunkhouse travel trailer I've ever seen. Let's go take a look. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles, if this is your first time here and we review RVs pretty much. So glad that you're here and excited to show you this Venture Sport Trek in their touring edition, which is their higher end line. It's a 343 VBH. You'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen here. And I wanna talk about towing this travel trailer real quick because it doesn't look too terribly huge from this perspective, but when you come around to the other side, there are three slide outs on this massive travel trailer here this thing is about 37 feet 8 inches and it weighs 9100 pounds without anything inside of it and has a hitch weight of almost 1250 pounds so that hitch weight is really what's most important with this being a 1250 pound hitch weight plus you add propane to the propane bottles add batteries on there add cargo into the travel trailer it's safe to say it's probably going to be closer to like a 1400 pound hitch weight when it's all said and done you want to have a cargo capacity or a payload capacity on your truck to comfortably tow something like this of at least probably 16, 1700 pounds. And that's just if you're towing it with just yourself in the vehicle. If you're going to have kids with you, obviously, as most people will, maybe some pets, whatever. I mean, you're probably going to want like a, at least like 1800 to, you know, 2200 pound cargo capacity on your truck just to be safe and to be comfortable. So that's kind of my two cents there on towing and that hitch weight there is directly correlated or related to your cargo capacity or payload capacity on the truck is that reduces the hitch weight there is reduct or deducted, <laughs> trying to think of the right words here, is reducted off of or reduced off of, wow, I'm just really struggling. I'm so sorry, y'all. It's reduced from the cargo capacity or the payload capacity of the truck. So those are your specs there on this travel trailer. Real quick before we look through it, do wanna let you know we are here at a great outdoor RV center in Cumbie, Texas. Um, as we wait for their sign to move here, you can see they love America with the American flag there. Um, but this is one of the dealerships that we partnered with and I was really excited to work with them because I actually know the owner here. His name is Tommy Owen. I worked with him. He was my sales manager when I first got into this industry. I know how he treats customers. He's actually the reason I am here today doing what I am doing um, because he just really inspired me to give my all and to pour everything I have into giving y'all the best experience possible which is a lot of what I'm here to do with these videos. And he carries that same philosophy through his dealership here. So if you are interested in this RV that we're looking at, or if you are just ready to start shopping for your next RV, so you can see there are a lot of options here. Plus they have two other locations. Today we are in Cumbie, Texas. You can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help. We would love to help. And I promise you, Tommy will give you the best RV buying and ownership experience possible. They are a small dealer with that hands-on touch and that family feel that you just aren't gonna get somewhere else. So couldn't rec recommend them enough. You can text us at the number on the screen if you are interested in this RV. Now let's take a look at everything this travel trailer has to offer. So as we step up here, it has a one piece molded fiberglass front cap, no rock guard up front here because this molded fiberglass cap goes all the way down. So that is all a one piece fiberglass cap there. Definitely a much more premium look, something you're only gonna find on your high end travel trailers. And this one does have a glass windshield here that is going to give you a great view into your environment from the bedroom there, because that bedroom is up front. Has a blue LED light bar right above that Sportsman logo. And then as we come down, it has a power tongue jack and two 30 pound propane bottles and spot for your battery there. So two 30 pound propane bottles, those are gonna power things like your gas electric water heater, your furnace, and I even, no, not the refrigerator in here, really just your furnace and water heater plus things like your stove, oven, stuff like that. I'm gonna allow you to camp longer in this travel trailer. You are pretty slim on your storage space in here. You can see it has some hooks there. You can put like a, you know, a tool or something in that area. 
maybe a fishing rod possibly have a motion activated light but the interior space is so killer it just kind of has a reducted or gosh i don't know why i keep saying reducted i don't even think that's a real word i apologize it's so hot outside it's just really hard to think in this weather it's like 98 degrees outside and it's just brutal but i apologize it has a minimal storage space out here power stabilizers underneath so you can see power stabilizers there and then it has spare tire underneath here fully enclosed underbelly all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly there as well and so whenever you run your furnace that's going to keep your water tanks and water lines from freezing nice big awning covers both entry doors and then you have asdell sidewall so that's going to be a composite panel sidewall no wood panels in the sidewall going to prevent delamination and moisture damage from happening over time got to have the bottle opener outside as well Goodyear Endurance American-made tires, and then you have a standard leaf spring suspension. Standard entry step for your second entry door. And I kind of like this because these steps, they go up into the door like this when you store them away. That means you actually can't get into this door unless you have enough space for those steps to swing all the way out. But if you're parked too closely to something, you can get into this door anytime. So that is pretty nice there. Now this is one of the most impressive things by far on this travel trailer. This is a full, outdoor entertainment space in a travel trailer such a rare find i can't even think of another brand that comes with a tv already installed in an outdoor entertainment space and especially one with a tv that is this big this looks like this is probably a 42 to 45 inch screen tv or so if i'm guessing it's always a little hard to guess but that looks about what that size is storage here on both sides next to it have a mini fridge and then this spot is going to actually slide out and this is going to give you a griddle cooktop metal countertop and metal just construction around here and an outdoor sink i love the outdoor sink aspect this prevents you from having to go inside the rv to do things like wash your hands rinse off dishes or silverware or just clean anything off very easy to do outside and i love that very rare find in a lot of travel trailers outdoor speakers sound system here and your light switch there Come around the back, you are gonna have the ability to store things like your sewer hose in the bumper. It does have an accessory hitch off the back rated for 250 pounds. Ladder to get up onto the roof and backup camera. Plus you have frameless windows on this travel trailer so it gives it a more premium look as well. Rack and pinion style slide out on all your slide mechanisms on this travel trailer. And I literally almost said fifth wheel because this thing is so big it makes me feel like I'm looking at a fifth wheel. Again, frameless windows and then you're gonna have your water connections and your 50 amp plug right here plus your dump station there for your kitchen and your half bath you're probably going to have another dump station up here as well yep for your full bathroom there so black and gray tanks here for your full bathroom and then finally some additional storage because you really do need it on this model magnet latch to hold that open storage here underneath the bed plus that is where your 50 amp cable is going to be stored there as well so that is everything on the outside. Let me know what you think so far and what you may be most impressed with, have questions about, anything like that in the comments below. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. All right, so as we go inside here, one of the first things I noticed that I really appreciate is you have this quick access to storage. So I really like having storage space here because this is going to be storage space you can access without ever having to take off your shoes. If you have dirty shoes or anything like that, you can get right to the storage without having to walk through the entire RV or take your shoes off. Plus you have storage space right here as well. This will also be your coat closet. You can see that space in there. Very easy to get to. You have your solar controls right here, just monitoring your solar panel. Oh, and I also forgot. You have the Lippert screen defender. This is gonna protect your screen door. This is usually an additional accessory people have to purchase. And it has the screenshot, so it will automatically close your screen door behind you. If you've never camped in an RV before, you might not know how practical that is because it is very nice to be able to just do that, especially if your hands are full and know that the screen door is gonna close behind you and you don't have to go set your stuff down and then come back to prevent any bugs from coming inside. Oh, now as we step inside here, I have both ACs on, feels great. We're plugged into 50 amp power, so thank goodness can get out of the heat a little bit. It's definitely cooling down really well. And this is gonna give you a look at the interior living space. So we'll start in the slide out. You can see you have a booth dinette table there. It's a standard booth dinette table with your legs here in the table. This can 
come down and make into a bed if you need it. Legs just come out, table sits on these black rails there and back cushions go on top of the table to make that into a bed. And then while we're here, let's just take a look at the price real quick. You can see here the MSRP is $83,069 and they have it reduced down to $60,997. So that is the sales price here on this travel trailer at a great outdoor RV center in Cumbie, Texas. Again, if you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help. We would love to help. And Tommy, the owner of this store, I promise you we'll take good care of you and make sure you have a great experience with not only purchasing your RV, but also throughout the ownership process of having your RV. That's something that Tommy has always prided himself on is just doing the right thing by customers to make sure you get taken care of no matter what it is throughout the whole lifespan of having your RV. So if you buy your RV from him, I can assure you you're going to have the best experience you could possibly ask for with your RV ownership experience. So you can text us on the number of the screen if you are interested in this RV and we would love to help. Come along this way and I really like the flexibility of this as well because this is two recliners with an armrest and outlets and USB ports here but this also flips up and you have like a love seat set up here. So if you want more seating space or just want to be able to cuddle or anything like that, you can do that. You have heat and massage on these chairs plus USB ports on the armrest. It's in the Thomas Payne collection and it is right across from your TV there. So when you sit, you have a great view of your TV from where this um, recliner is at and it does come with these pillows. So you get that extra decor here as well. And they actually put quite a few different decor pieces that we'll see throughout this travel trailer. Now there are a couple things in this travel trailer that feel a little stripped down to me. And I believe they stripped them down just so, you know, it can be competitive in the price range that it's at and give you some more cool features. And I'll kind of point out what I mean by that. So like one thing, for instance, yeah, pull down black pleated shades. It's not a pull down blackout shade. A lot of other competing brands in this price range or sometimes just a little bit more expensive will have a pull down blackout shade, but they often don't have what we're gonna see in the bedroom that this one does have. So I think it's kind of a give and take there. A lot of times you also don't see this additional storage space up through here. So this is something that I think is a lot more, you know, additional storage that you don't typically see that's great for extended camping or even full timing if that's what you wanna do. You also have a skylight in the living area to let in more natural light through that area there as well. So I appreciate that. And then things like your fireplace here, really neat. I've actually only seen this in other fifth wheels. This is the first travel trailer I've seen it in where you have so many different color options. You actually have independent control of the crystal color and independent control of the flame color. So you can really get whatever kind of ambiance you want in here. And that is also going to be an electric heater, basically works like a space heater for you as well. Down underneath here, you have some additional storage plus your connections there for your TV and radio and Bluetooth, stuff like that. Right here, you're going to have your controls for the RV. So really nice, easy to use control panel there. And this TV is on a swivel mount so you can move it around as well. Through the kitchen, really like the cabinets that they do in here. Um, this same brand actually makes a Durango fifth wheel as well. And this feels very similar to like a Durango fifth wheel. Open that up, you're gonna have a spot for sponges and whatnot. And then through here, your drawers, really nice, easy sliding drawer glide there as well. So you can see those cabinets that you have, or those drawers, sorry. And then you have the bigger Furion stove. So bigger than your standard travel trailer stove, three burners cooktop here and that's your gas cooktop. See another decor piece that you get. This is actually a functional cutting board that you get from Venture RV. So pretty nice that they throw that in there. That is something that you won't see on any other travel trailer that I've ever seen, especially in this price range. Maybe there's some outrageously priced custom made thing out there, but not in anything that you'll find in this price range, that's for sure. Have a stainless steel sink and then more of a fifth wheel style faucet here. That's really nice and looks very industrial. Window here on your campsite, you have storage up here next to the microwave. And then this is gonna be your standard Fury on RV size microwave. Ceiling height in here is really great. It feels like it's about six, nine to seven feet. I don't have an exact measurement on the ceiling height, but it is very tall. Definitely doesn't feel confined by any means. And you do have two ACs in here. They are slightly on the more noisy side, but I'm getting good airflow in here and it's really cooling down the space well. 
can see your ducting going throughout here. So it is a ducted AC system with two ACs. We're gonna go back to the bunk area first. And actually, before we get there, I forgot to mention with your refrigerator, this is the Furion 12 volt refrigerator. And there is solar on this RV that's gonna help keep your batteries charged. You can see they went with the wood panels here that will match the cabinetry on the travel trailer. So let me know what you think on that, if you like it matching the cabinetry or if you would have preferred like a black kind of glass look from the fridge there. And last bit of storage space underneath here. And I say last bit, there is still more because there is a designated pantry space back through here. It's a little shallow, but you do have it nonetheless. It is shallow because there's actually bunk storage back behind there. Outlet on the wall here. And then didn't look at outlets here. You have an outlet up in the underneath the cabinet there. And don't tell me that's the only outlet. Wow, that is the only outlet in the kitchen. So that's a little bit of a bummer. It would have been nice if there was like another one on this side here, I suppose. But now that, I mean, how many things are you really going to have plugged in there? I don't know. Let me know if that's a concern for you. Through here, you have your half bath. You have access from outside into this half bath. So you can step right into the bathroom. Don't have to step through the rest of the travel trailer. Nice ceiling height in here again. Nice big stainless steel sink. And then this is a porcelain foot flush toilet there. So a good half bath space plus additional storage that you'll get in here. If you have all your kids with you or company or whatever, you know, they're going to have their own private space in here where they can brush their teeth, do their business and whatnot and not have to, you know, disturb whoever, whoever is in the main bedroom. This heat is just really getting to me, y'all. Really getting to me and making me slur my words sometimes. It's ridiculous just how much it messes with your brain. Um, another decor piece that you see right here. So a nice piece that you see or that you get from Venture RV. And then you have two bunks here. I'm gonna get back to these in just a second so we can turn right. You have your slide out in this space and you can see you have a jackknife sofa here with a bunk over top. Bunks are rated for 250 pounds. Top bunk does flip up so you can get that up out of the way and have your seating space. And then this is just a jackknife sofa. So this will lay flat like so. Plus it will have storage down underneath there. Length on this bed here is about Let's see. It's probably about five foot 10, five foot 11. Um, I definitely would have to like lay with my legs bent to sleep there. Could easily do it, but I just couldn't extend all the way out. Maybe if I lay diagonal, I'd get a little bit closer. And you can see down underneath this sofa here, you do have a table with a leg there that is going to allow this area to turn into an eating space because that table can go right there in that support. Come to this side, you're going to have another bunk here with a larger bunk over top. Because of the outdoor kitchen space, they can't extend this all the way out, but they can extend this one all the way out. So this gives you a space for almost big enough for two adults, or if you just have a larger person needing a space to sleep, they can sleep here. And length on these bunks, I don't know that it's going to be any different. Let me take my shoe off. And no, this feels like it might be longer. Um, it might be like 5'11", so that's probably a pretty accurate measurement just based off of how I fit in the space. I'm 6'1", 6'2", with my shoes on, so with my shoe off there, I feel comfortable saying it's about 5'10", 5'11", on the length on that bunk. So that means that'll be the same thing up here. Um, this one is a bigger space though, so I could probably fully extend laying diagonal on this one. You have USB ports here, puck lights there, USB port here, storage space down underneath here, and then storage space down there. Spot for a TV on the wall. So this is a pretty interesting spot for a TV. If you think about it, if you wanted to plug in like a game console or a Blu-ray player, or anything like that, it would pretty much have to sit up on this bunk space to reach that TV. There's really not another practical storage space for it. So something to keep in mind if that's something whoever's in this bunk space is into, um, something they'll have to you know, possibly consider if that's gonna be like a full-time living or extended camping setup where you want a TV in here and want a Blu-ray player or a PlayStation, Xbox, whatever it may be. And then you have all this additional storage in here. It does have a spot to hang clothes in this space there. So you can put hangers in here and that's gonna be your storage in this bunk space. Two AC vents. So whoever's laying in this space especially is gonna get some nice airflow, stay nice and cool. And then it does cool down this space really well. Now as we come back out this way, again, just so impressed by the look of the living room. I mean, just coming out of this bedroom into this living room space, I mean, it just feels so nice. 
And then as we go this way, you're going to have a second full bathroom, dual entrance into the bedroom. So you can go directly into this bathroom from the bedroom, don't have to go out into the hallway. It is going to have a corner radius shower, but this actually looks like a pretty big shower. I mean, that base is pretty considerably sized. And when I step up in here, ceiling height to here is probably six, four, six, five. So really you could be like six, seven, possibly even six, eight and fit in this travel trailer. I mean, that is a really impressive space and it definitely doesn't feel claustrophobic in there. So that's impressive for a corner shower. Have another big stainless steel sink. You're gonna have your medicine cabinet there and then storage down underneath here as well. Porcelain foot flush toilet is in the corner here, gonna have shoulder space on both sides, so not a bad space there. And then this bedroom is really where it just gets so impressive. When you walk in, you have a queen size bed here, the bed's in a slide out, and you get another fireplace here in the bedroom. So this is something where, I don't know another travel trailer brand that is doing this. Have a fireplace in here, that's gonna be another electric heat source for you in the bedroom. Have a nice, warm, cozy environment in here. This is also the same fireplace that has the custom crystal and flame color so you can really make this whatever you want it to be and then you have a queen size bed in here this is a more premium this feels like a Serta mattress I hate to do this because this bed is so nicely made I'm really annoyed that I just did that but yeah this looks like that Serta blue that you see from the Serta mattress so it feels a little bit more quality on the mattress finish and then it does come with all the pillows that you see here so you will get that full setup above each individual. You have some storage here that is actually really considerably sized. Outlets, USB ports here as well, and then more storage there. Have one single puck light here, and then it is a little limited on storage. You have this amazing windshield here that's going to give you a great view out into your environment and a ton of table, you know, bedside space or whatnot. Two pull-out drawers here that are very large, but as far as like clothes hanging space, I mean, that's, that's what you got to work with right here. So that's gonna be your hanging space that you have for clothes. Have the same storage on this side. Also have outlets up here with more, you know, bedside tabletop space. I don't know the best, I guess a shelf would be the best word for that. And then storage through here. I imagine you probably have to fold up a good amount of your clothes if you were thinking about like full timing in here this isn't the deepest storage ever you do have hidden storage underneath here so this is really cool don't see this in travel trailers too often and then you'll probably have to utilize storage underneath the bed as well for clothes storage if you're wanting to like full time in a travel trailer like this but nonetheless a very impressive bedroom i think storage is the only limitation here and they probably could have done without the windshield and just given you a bigger closet there, but it does give it such a cool, nice, open, outdoorsy feel. I think if you want to get to just the true, you know, experience of what camping should be and what most people remember when it comes to their camping experiences is just what it's like to wake up in the morning, sense and feel the environment around you. This is really going to allow you to do that in a lot of ways that other travel trailers won't. It just gives you such a warm, cozy feel. So that is your bedroom. That is your Venture Sport Trek 343 VBH. Again, the price on it here at a great outdoor RV center in Cumbie, Texas is $60,997. That's gonna be a very competitive price as well for this style travel trailer. I know a couple brands this will compete with that are gonna be in that like 65 to $75,000 price range, which this one is not. So definitely a great, option here if this is an rv you're interested in you can text us at the number on the screen we would love to help again we are at a great outdoor rv center in cumby texas and i personally know the owner here his name is tommy owen he will give you the best rv shopping and buying experience that you could possibly ask for in the united states i truly believe that and i have worked personally with him so i have seen how he handles and treats customers and he will definitely take care of you so couldn't recommend you come here enough you can text us on the number of the screen if you are interested in this RV or if you're just ready to start shopping for your next RV. Look forward to helping you and thanks for watching. Until next time, live firmly on bound.